Nigel Farage, a UKIP MEP for the South East of England. A lot of people backing and, and welcoming these uh, plans, these, this new legislation to allow patients to travel abroad for treatment. You don't share that view? Well, of course not. There'll be far fewer British patients that go to other hospitals in Europe than European patients that come to us. And in the very week when David Cameron is trying to reform the National Health Service to give us better value for money, we now have to open our doors to hundreds of millions of people to say, come in, get your hip replacement done in Dover or Maidstone or wherever you like. Um, it's going to put a massive increase on the number of health tourists coming to Britain and it will leave us with a huge, huge bill. We will finish up with British taxpayers having to fund much of this and I think when people realise the full implications of this they're going to be very angry indeed. And are you concerned that the South East actually could bear the brunt really of this because it's so yeah. well connected? I mean logically it is the South East and London too that will bear the brunt of this because people will come in on the ferries or they'll drive through the channel um, or they'll be on Eurostar. So if you want a hip replacement in Dover you might find the waiting list just got that little bit longer. I mean, do you think that, that many people from uh, other European countries will actually travel abroad? Because a lot of people are saying, look, you know, a lot of people will prefer to stay at home if they can, and it's only in some cases that they'll take up this option. Well, if you look at some of the countries in Eastern Europe that have recently joined this political union, uh, they're very poor countries, uh, their hospitals are very, very, very far below the standards of British hospitals. So yes, I think there'll be a huge number of people that want to come to Britain to get treatment, and the chances of our government, getting money back from the Romanian government, strike me as being rather slim. I mean, is that going to be the problem? You say it's going to be a bureaucratic nightmare. Oh, well, it will, because you see, what's going to have to happen is that, in theory, the cost for these operations will have to be totted up, and then bills will have to be submitted to other European governments. It's going to mean thousands, maybe tens of thousands, more civil servants. And as we know from the history of Europe, we always play by the rules. The other countries tend not to. I mean, do you think we, the NHS could be left out of pocket, really? The Not NHS will be, left, will be left out of pocket by a minimum of tens of millions of pounds every single year. Goodness me, we are paying ludicrous taxes in Britain. Just look at what it costs us in tax to fill up our car with petrol. We're struggling to keep the NHS going as it is. And now what British politicians want to do with the agreement of David Cameron's government is to open the door to the whole of Europe. It's absolutely mad. It's a national health service, not a global health service. And what about the option for constituents of yours, perhaps if they have a rare condition, they are facing a long wait, being able to go to another European country? I mean, do you not think that's a good idea? Well, there will be people who look at, for example, cancer treatment in France and will opt to go there. Of course they will, because we know the French are rather better at it than we are. All of it, listen, all of this is fine if the number's going one way and coming the other way are equal. But as we've seen with everything with our European experience, especially foreign workers, for every one British worker that works in Europe, there are four European workers that work in Britain. And I would wager that in terms of healthcare, the ratio will be much the same. So the net effect is that we will be big financial losers. And are you worried that even for the, the domestic side of this, the National Contact Centre, as it's being called, uh, the kind of bureaucracy that will be needed to, to, to get UK patients abroad are you worried that's going to be a burden as well? Well, it's ironic, isn't it? Because what David Cameron is trying to do this week is to decentralise the NHS. He says it's too bureaucratic and we're not getting enough bang for our buck. And here we are about to set up a massive new bureaucratic system. It doesn't really make sense.